Hey folks, welcome. In one of my previous videos, a subscriber had asked a question whether I could make a video on creating and deleting drop down list in Google Sheets. So here we are. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create, delete, drop down list in Google Sheets. The first step in for this video is going to be looking at the data followed by creating the drop down, then checking some extra features that are available, then copying the drop down to other cells, and in the end, deleting the drop down. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my data. This is the data that I have here. Here I have some colors, red, blue, green, pink, black. So I want to create a drop down where the user can select his favorite color because it's easier so that their user doesn't have to go in and type red as his favorite color. Now, the first step is going to be selecting the target cell. That is a cell where you want to put in the drop down list. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to data. I'm going to click on data validation. And here the cell range that we have specified is data C2. And the criteria that is going to be list from a range. So the range we're going to be specifying is going to be A1 to A5. If you want to from a list of items, you'll have to manually add them using separated by commas. Or if you want, you can add numbers, text, date, and more. So for now, I'm going to be do selecting the list from a range and I'm going to be specifying the range A1 to A5. After you've specified your range, just click on OK and the range will get added. The next thing is going to be show drop down list. So this checkbox always has to be ticked since that's what the video is about. And next we're going to be doing on invalid data. Say the user enters a color outside the specified range. So we have red, blue, green, pink, black. He say puts in purple. So we have to show an error to the user saying that this is not in a specified range. So do you want to show a warning or do you want to reject the input? Reject input won't accept any values beyond this range specified. So we're just going to click on show warning and appearance show validation help text is not required. If you want, you can just click on checkbox tick. Now we have added the drop down and we have checked out the features. Let's just go ahead and click save. And here you can see on clicking save the drop down has successfully been added to the sheet. Now let's check it out. So I'm going to click on this and here you can see blue, red, green, pink, black. All the options have successfully been added to this drop down. If I click on blue, the option will get added. Now let's check out the error correction. So if I put in purple, it's going to show me a red flag saying invalid must fall within the specified range. So we have seen, so our, we have created the drop down. We have checked out the features. So I'm just going to put this on. Now the next step is going to be copying the drop down to other cells in the Google sheet. I'm just going to clear this out. I'm going to select blue. Now, if I want to copy this drop down to these cells, all I'm going to do is just go from here and just copy this and I'm going to select the cells that I want to paste the drop down list in and I'm going to just right click on it and you can see paste specials. You can scroll down and you to click on paste validation only. Now you can see the drop down has been added to all the cells that we had specified. If I click here, it's red. If I click here, blue, green, black. So our drop down has been copied to all the cells. Now, the last part of this video is going to be deleting the drop down from the Google Sheet cell. Say I want to delete this drop down. So you need to click on the specified drop down that you want to delete, then go to data, click on data validation and click on remove validation. So the drop down will, will be removed. So this is all for this video. I hope you understood how to add and delete drop down list in Google Sheets. Or if you have any doubt, such as my subscriber that had put in, I'll be leaving a Google form link in the description. You can put in your doubts and I will try my level best to create more videos on that. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.